Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another Halloween update tutorial. Today we're going to be making pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie is one of those new dishes that's available in the Halloween update that dropped on October 25th. Now, you may say, okay, well it seems pretty simple, but there's some there's some more things at, at work than your regular pie. So let's get started laying it out and I'll kind of explain how I go. Now these are the new corner grabbers. When you pick like when you personally when you first purchase them, they look like this. Okay. When you go into practice mode or start your day is when you hover, like you go near it and you hit your interact button. For me, it's mine is the eight key keyboard would be O. Um, control on order and you would cycle to left to middle to right um, these are just presets I already had this laid out so I want to I'm not going to need this one for today now all the things that I have up here is what we'll need for this now again you could get away with using these corner grabbers in lieu of smart in lieu of straight grabbers because these do have a straight function to them but again you likely will have normal grabbers more so than you'll have these but anyway let's start off you have your pumpkin bin from your pumpkin bin you need to have again these are going to be already turned possibly the way I want them turned. So we're gonna go like that. And you're gonna need a jiggly bin, which is gonna go here. And you're gonna need something to cut these on because when you make pie, you're gonna have waste because you have to get rid of the seeds. And you say, well, how do I get rid of the seeds? Well, I'm gonna show you. you. Lay this out here and the portioner, portioner actually does the action of removing the seeds from the pumpkin, which is great. And then you have to say, okay, well now what do I do? Well, I gotta cut the pumpkin. Well set this up like this this is the first compact way that i've found to do this can you turn this one like this so the, it'll be de-seeded here it'll then be put into the conveyor mixer you could again you could use a regular mixer here you would just have to use a grabber in between this to go to the portioner or excuse me to go to the combiner because what you need to do for pies you obviously have to combine them with the flour but you can't just combine them with a the flour because it won't work that way. This is exactly like you would do an apple pie, except or well, any of the pies. You just don't have to pre-cook the crust. Now, again, this is a rapid mixer. You could get away with using a conveyor mixer and putting it here, but you're not saving any space because you can't cram two things into one space. This is, again, the, the smallest, most compact way I've found to do this. And here you have your conveyor. I call them conveyors, but you know the grabbers here. And then you're going to your safety hob like this. And then for me, I'm using a prep station because you know no automation is complete without using some sort of prep station. And this is basically a one, two, three, four, five, six by three design. So 18 squares. Again, there's there's no other way. I mean, you could compact this and put a corner grabber here, but you're not you're not saving any space because you know it's still a, a six by one, two. Three, four, still a six by three. And again, you could probably link a couple of these together. And, and I mean, to me, this is the most efficient design that I've found. And you need to have a jiggly bin. Well, okay, you don't need to. You can use a different type of bin, but the problem with using a different type of bin is you only have a certain amount of space for pies. And because pumpkin pies can spawn, they don't need, they're not a prerequisite to anything, is you have to do something with the waste. Now, pumpkin pie also has pumpkin soup. And it also has pumpkin seeds as a starter. Now, the issue with that is if you can get all three cards, you can have a big system of these all combined to doing one thing, which, again, that will be a video later on showing you how to have all three of those things being made at the same time. Uh, if you get all three of those cards, but none of them are linked to each other, so it's hit or miss whether you actually get them. So what we'll do is let's actually go into practice mode. Now, the new practice mode, New practice mode, you hit escape and you go to practice mode. So you don't have to run outside, you don't have to spawn back in, and let's just watch this happen. See if everything's set right. Up here, your pumpkin's getting de-seeded. Over here is getting chopped. Like I said, you could use a rapid mixer here and just reconfigure how this goes. Um, and then you're combining the seat the 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 pumpkin cut-up pumpkin into the crust, and it's going to here. Now, again, could you make this more efficient by using two safety hobs, one pre-baking the crust? Of course you can. But as you see, this is going pretty quickly. This would be your standard setup um, for any other type of pies that you would be making. Um, in my opinion, as far as it being more compact, I don't think you can make it more compact than this uh, as far as it being manual because you have to combine the pumpkin pieces just like you would combine the meat or the, um, or the vegetables or the mushrooms into the pie crust. And there you go. This pie, it looks exactly like the highlighter pie, the apple pie. Look at that. There's my little ghost man. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. 
So it's not the fastest thing in the world, but I mean, there's no other, there, as far as I've come up with, there's no other, there's no more efficient way. And it looked, and the Jiggly Bin takes 10 seconds, and I don't think you could be going through pies that quickly because, again, you could have a Jiggly Bin full of seeds, this is full of seeds, this is full of seeds. So that's three seeds that you have, like, ready to go. And then you have these two lined up. So you can make a lot of pies without this backing up. Now, if you are worried, you could link this into a prep station, which would be... I guess you could put your prep station right here where I'm standing. Put a regular grabber here. Put a corner grabber here. So that all these give you, buy you a little bit more time. Because then you could hold four plus two, six, seven. You could hold about eight things of seeds because you have the extra conveyor belts as well. But again, I don't think you're going to be going through pies that quickly. And once, the, and once this like backs up, all of the seeds will actually get um, removed and get uh, well compacted. Basically, your jiggly. This is called a compactor bin. I call it the jiggly bin. Doesn't matter because it jiggles, so the jiggles, which is why I call it that. Which is quite funny, <laughs> mind you. But anyway, this is how you automate pumpkin pie. It's pretty straightforward. You need to see two straight grabbers. You'll need four corner grabbers. Now again, you could get away with using regular grabbers here. You would just have to reconfigure this. This would have to sit out here, and you go this way. That would go. I mean, this could all be done with regular grabbers. This is just the most compact way that I've found to do this, because um, it's basically a six by three and eighteen square block. If you move these down over to here, you'd end up having over twenty some blocks. And this, since this is a three wide, a lot of your, I don't have any in this map here, but a lot of the times you have like a three wide hallway, like over here where my character is, and you could wedge this in here and all you gotta do is have this sticking out. Now this isn't using teleporters or any other technology because it's not really needed at this time. So there you go, this is pumpkin pie. Now stay tuned, I also have pumpkin seeds, and I also have corn cob, and I also have pumpkin soup coming out uh, in the next couple days. So stay tuned for all of those cool new Halloween compact the key here is compact automation trying to make things as compact as possible for you guys and this is how you do um, pumpkin pie now again I'm gonna get out of this bring this back and you can see exactly what you need you need four corner grabbers two regular grabbers um, I use a rapid mixer but some sort of mixer and this is a conveyor mixer again you could use a regular mixer just have an extra conveyor belt extra grabber you need a combiner you need a portion or a jiggly pin uh, safety hob and then the prep stations, which I mean the, the prep station this is optional obviously you don't need to have these but again it's nice to have four or five pies six pies ready to go without having to mess with anything so thank you guys so much for joining me uh, if you're new to the channel please consider leaving a subscribe it would really help out my really help out the channel I'm getting close to my next goal and as always uh, feel free to like and comment the video <clears throat> I respond to all my comments either with a thumbs up or a heart or a personal comment right back and if there's any content that you're looking for from me new automation that I don't have out yet or old automation and say hey can you re-automate fish a certain way <clears throat> guess what you definitely can and I'm going to be bringing that stuff to you can you automate burgers a different way can you automate you know spiny fish can you automate this and the answer is yes I can automate just about everything in the game. Just leave it in the comment below if, if there's anything specific you want to see. And I'll catch you guys in the next Halloween update compact automation tutorial. Thanks for watching. Take care now.